you do it? So in order to get to the end of the cave, we have to hop in this river and fight the rapids through this tiny hole in the rock and carefully squeeze our way through it. Take your time. It will take your feet behind you a little bit. All right, I'm getting in the river. You want to follow, follow the wall around it's to the It's so lake. cold. You got it, Jimmy. Ah, I don't know if I fit. Jimmy, I need you to pull yourself up out of the water. Oh, my God. What's crazy about doing this oh, it's so cold. is when you're completely submerged in freezing cold water, gripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Uh, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Matt, Carl, let's go. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Keep going. Look how crazy this is. And even though this obstacle was difficult, it's nothing compared to what's up ahead. We did it. Yes. Oh, get it. Get it. Hey, get boys. Get it. We're now 10% done! Which means we've only scratched the surface of this expedition, and we still have over two kilometers remaining to reach the end. As you can see, it rains in this cave 24-7. So I'm making a chill spot for us to hang out in and not get wet. I wonder what it would look like if I wasn't here to build all this. Pretty sure they'd just be sleeping in a pile on a wet rock. Why is this so difficult? The worst part is, every inch we go this way is an inch we gotta go that way to get back to camp. Our next obstacle may be out of the water, but that doesn't make it any easier to get through. Oh, is that a spider land? Spider, I don't see a spider. That means it's probably on us. Oh, it's on you, it's on you. I hate my friends. <laughs> this cave is like a Mr. Beast video. The further you go, the harder it gets. Just straight up, if we didn't have Joel, I'd be dead. And after three hours, Joel had some bad news for us. 